Hello, Libra. Let's go ahead and get started with a little mini love story for you. Spirit, please show me Libra's love story, the person on Libra's mind. How do they see this person? The person on Libra's mind. One more card for Libra. There it is. Player, jealousy, and working together. Reconciliation, sacred union, feeling complete. Okay. I feel that Libra has somebody on their mind. Okay. Or this could be, you know, somebody who wanted to be together with Libra. But we've got the addicted here. And then we've got working, player, and jealousy. So for some of you, this person could have been addicted to work. You could have seen this person as a player. Okay. You could have very well already been together with this individual or could still be together with this person. I feel like this person, uh, you could see them as a player. There could be a lot of jealousy, not feel, uh, not being respectful, unfair accusations. Maybe this person or you, Libra, had wandering eyes. Maybe there was someone here that was hiding their intentions. They just wanted to have fun. They weren't working on this relationship to try and keep this union together. I feel like for some of you Libras, you could have had some type of player ways or the person you were dealing with was a player of some sort. And I do feel like, you know, you couldn't hide it if you wanted to. This person sees it. They're watching you. This person, you could be searching through their phone. They could be searching through your phone. Someone here. You could have, you could work with this person. Okay. You guys could have met at work. And maybe someone here didn't want other people to know that they were together with someone else because they wanted to play that player, uh, you know, lifestyle. They didn't want to commit because of, you know, whatever reason. So they didn't really want anybody to think that, you know, we're together. Maybe they have a jealous ex that could be, you know, stalking them, watching them. Maybe even showing up at their work. But they don't want to tell this, you know, ex that the two of you guys are together. Or that they have feelings or you have feelings for this person, Libra. All right, Libra, let's see how the person on your mind is seeing you. How does the person on Libra's mind see Libra? How do they feel about Libra? Okay, wow. All right, so open your heart. Love is the highest energy of all. Maybe they wanted you, Libra, to open up your heart. Maybe you friend zone them. They could have felt friend zone because of this whole player aspect. And then we've got marriage and freedom. But I feel like it was, I do see it in the reverse, okay? Maybe someone here who, you know, there was forever young, a song of youthful playness, uh, playfulness, excuse me. I feel like when you guys were together, there was this, it brought out the youthful side in the both of you. And it's like, you know, you were, they wanted you to open up your heart to them, Libra. But either they friend zoned you or you friend zoned them, but it was because of somebody's player ways. Somebody saw through this player ways and they were not working on this relationship to really bring it together. They wanted to keep it in such an immature space. Like, a, a, again, a player who doesn't want anybody to know that they're with someone, so they friend zone you. Because they don't want other people... They want other people to think that they're still free and they're open to other options and that they're not committed to anyone with the marriage in the reverse. For some of you, this person is married to their work. Either you or the other party could be very much married to your work. And that is why you have friends on this in individual and people do that all the time. They love their work and then they meet somebody and 
they don't put in the work to the relationship because they already got, you know, other, um, you know, priorities. Maybe this person, you know, they want long-term marriage and commitment. And someone here just wants to keep someone as just a friend. Spirit, please show me. <clears throat> Libra. What do we got for Libra? No, oh, that one didn't come out. What do we got? Deeply. Look deeply within to discover your soul purpose and your relationships, Libra. Your soul purpose is to uh, create balance in relationships. And you need to listen deeply within yourself. And at the bottom of the deck, we have telepathy or telepathic. And it is close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized creating moments of telepathy. So I feel like the two of you guys are speaking to each other in the fifth dimension. I feel like this is very much a um, past life relationship. I feel like you guys have come into many unions with one another, um, you know, to really be together, to work through these obstacles and where whoever this player energy is, is uh, needs to learn to open their heart so that, that you and the other party can come together, but there is some type of jealousy. Maybe this other party could have friend zoned someone else. The two of you guys could have been really good friends or there's jealousy about some of your friends. Maybe you're, some of your friends were jealous, Libra, that you were with this person. So they told you to friend zone them. But again, you need to look deeply within your heart. That's what this Venus retrograde is all about. And it's in Leo. So it's about looking deep within your heart and asking yourself what you need. Okay. All right, Libra, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, all my information's in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. It does help my channel grow and keeps me in the algorithm and motivated to continue to making these videos. Thank you to everyone who has purchased me a cup of coffee. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. Even if it's the smallest donation, you know, every little bit matters. Uh, you guys, I love you all so much. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram, and I will chat with you again soon. Take care.